What's up YouTube fragrance family and friends? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to another video and welcome to the very first of May in the year 2022. We made it guys. We made it through the rain. Is that what Barry Manilow said or somebody said? It's a brand new month and looking forward to kicking off this month. Brand new fragrance for men by John Barbados and the XX marks the spot line of fragrances, which is relatively new. There's only a few in the, the line. There's of course the original XX Heritage or the 20th edition of John Barbados. We have in the Artisan, the XX Artisan line, Artisan Teal. That's the new release that we're gonna take a quick look at after we roll the intro. So that and more is coming your way. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So today we're taking a look at John Barbados XX Artisan Teal. Now this fragrance is or was inspired by the celebration of music and style. And you could say that about pretty much any one of John Varvato's fragrances because he's all about that music and style. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Artisan line of fragrances by John Varvato's, this is the Artisan or Artisanal or Artisanal, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, line. This one is the Wicker Man fragrance. Yeah, it's kind of covered in wicker. It's like a, a basket, a bottle in a basket. These fragrances are typically characterized by herbaceous, mineralic, green, light, aquatic kind of fragrance notes and accords, and this is no different. There's actually been a brand new branch of artisanal fragrances by John Varvatos in the XX line, starting with XX artisan. What I love about this fragrance, it kind of blends that artisanal or personalized craftsmanship feel with a modern bearing or vibe. And it's actually a great performing fragrance as well. Today, we're going to be talking about a brand new fragrance in that line. And that again is the XX Artisan Teal. So let's go ahead and dive into talking about the most obvious aspect of this fragrance. And that is the presentation. The box itself is teal and on the front you've got this it's a diadem or a pendant kind of reminds me of like a Fleur de lis it's got like a crown on it it's a silver it's got xx and then john varvados underneath it john varvados xx artisan teal is an eau de toilette concentrated fragrance 125 mil sides of the box have no information the back of the box is also blank really the only information on this box is on the bottom you've got your ingredients listing registered trademark information and address information some stickers UPC, and of course the batch code. Of course, the most obvious aspect of this presentation is the bottle itself. The bottle is characterized by a woven rope casing with a marine inspired glass. On the inside of the rope casing or braid, you can see through the glass. So it is transparent, but it's a teal color. The lid is silver, has the XX John Barbados stamped into it. Now the glass is sitting on like a very light wood covering for the bottom. And on top of that is a see-through sticker with additional information, including the batch code and some other information. So if you're into like personalized or localized craftsmanship, something that is really unique, interesting and intriguing looking, you'll probably really like this bottle. It is very different than most flacons or fragrance bottles sitting on the shelf insofar as it's celebrating that kind of artisanal kind of uh, made by hand feel. And there's something uniquely personal about that. So really like the presentation. It does remind me of obviously the, the other artisan fragrances. They have that feel and look to them. Now, one of the most popular, if not the most popular fragrance in the artisan line of fragrances. Now this is a different line, not the XX artisan is the artisan pure it is a fantastic mineralic aquatic fragrance uh, what this one is intended to be is a similarly aquatic fragrance with a bit of herbaceousness infused into it in fact now that we've talked a little bit about that presentation let's talk about the notes in xx artisan teal what are the notes that make up this fragrance <laughs> John Barbados XX Artisan Teal features top notes of lemon and rosemary with heart notes of pink pepper and water lily resting on a base of driftwood sea salt
Most modern fragrances feature six to eight notes, sometimes four, sometimes three, uh, at least published notes. And so it seems like the way of simplicity is kind of the modern aspect of men's fragrance now. And I, and I can appreciate that. So primarily what we're looking at is that typical artisan opening or XX artisan opening, which is going to be citrus as well as spicy. We've got lemon, I've got rosemary. It feels like to me the heart is where this fragrance is going to reside. The heart of the fragrance is pink pepper. To me, pink pepper is a bit more of a fancy ginger, something that aerates and carries the primary forceful accords in a fragrance. It's a, kind of the personality carrier of the fragrance, as it were. So along with that pink pepper, you've got a water lily. Now, water lily is an interesting fragrant note. It's got, it can be either kind of like a lemony type of accord, or it can smell, some people say it smells very similar to Cherry 7-Up. You know, it's got kind of an effervescent citrusy cherry overtone to it. Now, the base of driftwood, sea salt, and musk provide that woody backbone and a little bit of depth and density for an overall kind of relaxed fragrance, fresh, coastal. So it's kind of like a fresh sea breeze vibe. So I'm very curious about this one. I really like aquatic fragrances. I don't think you can have too many aquatic fragrances. Let's check out the juice. So that lid is silver has the JV, has the XX, John Varvatos. The pump atomizer itself is got a black aperture and it's a silver pump. So let's check it out. Oh, there we go. Now this one doesn't spray very far. It just puffs like poof. So you gotta put it relatively close to your skin. It doesn't spray as much as some of the other designer fragrance pumps do, but it is sufficient to get the job done. I'll put it a little bit closer so you can see. Got that in my face and uh, I quite like it. You know what's interesting is when I first tried Jean Varvedos XX Indigo, I wasn't blown away by it. I didn't think it was that great, but now I would say I'm a pretty good proponent of XX Indigo because it's just a really solid, unique blue fragrance for men, very inexpensive too. Feel like this is probably gonna be similar to that. It does have that very lemon, citrus, spicy feel to it. It's a nice kind of a combination and or juxtaposition of those two very different accords. You've got citrus, here you've got spice here and where they meet is where this comes into play it's really nice olfactively i wouldn't say it's a warm relaxed it's very energetic it's very wakeful so it's a great open usually pink peppers in the open or in the heart and that's fine uh, but this this has it in spades again talking about what the water lily note is like in men's fragrance is very much like an effervescent lightly cherry citrus kind of booing note kind of uplifting mood elevating inspiration inducing kind of note of course it's got an aquatic feel a very fresh uh, salt water minus the brine so it's not like deep oceanic it's just more like fresh coastal what i like about mood elevating fragrances is they're very vibrant just like the color teal is vibrant like it's eye-catching when you see a vehicle that is a teal color usually you do a double take maybe you see them more now on the road i think this fragrance captures that teal color olfactively successfully there's something a bit refined about this for although refined probably isn't the right word this definitely isn't an upscale fragrance it's got kind of a sophisticated casual relaxed style about it for example let's say you're driving by a very popular whether it's virginia beach or beach in california for the sake of visualization we'll say pre-covid right the beach was just littered with people and all the stuff that they were doing. Well, nobody's gonna be wearing a suit and tie. It's just gonna be very relaxed kind of atmosphere. And there's a subset of people that are, you know, wearing like polo shirts and slacks or whatever. And they're off to the side having their nice drink with an umbrella in it, talking about business and where they're gonna go on their next vacation, that kind of thing. That's this fragrance. That's the relaxed style. It's kind of throwing in there that kind of old world craftsmanship look to it, the artisanal work, the handmade things going along with kind of a more modern vibe that's where you get that kind of sophisticated relaxed casual feel and atmosphere and that's this fragrance the smell of it's really nice again a great combination of water lily and pink pepper with a bit of spice definitely infused throughout the fragrance is the citrus the citrus is the kind of the celebratory aspect of of this fragrance now let this dry just a little bit then i'm going to come back and give you guys my final thoughts on john varvedo's XX Artisan Teal. Now, I can't necessarily speak to the longevity of the fragrance, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring up performance now because I think that's where, if anything, is gonna be an Achilles heel to this fragrance performance is. As an eau de toilette, we don't expect a tremendous amount of performance. It does project really well. It's very pleasant. That, that citrus, that lightly aquatic floral, the water lily, 
got rosemary, pink pepper, kind of an earthy base to it is, is what really is gonna carry the fragrance and what makes it unique. And I think that is the claim to fame or caveat or whatever word you want to use to describe of the fragrance's primary aspect or personality or where it's going to come into its own as a really solid casual wear fragrance for men again it kind of exudes that relaxed sophistication while celebrating that old world handmade kind of style to it and in the smell primarily in the dry down you get that mineralic earthy overtone that really is the kind of the call sign for the artisan fragrances and that's what I really like about them. Really, this is just the kind of fragrance that you want to wear fresh out of the shower or before you go to a get together or a gathering in the summer. It, this is going to be a great solid summer fragrance and right now if you're interested in picking it up or interested in trying it, I would say it's a safe blind buy. If you're wanting a fragrance that has kind of a modicum of value in terms of the blue genre of fragrances similar to indigo i would put them on the same quality tier so if you like xx indigo you'll probably really like this for similar reasons again this fragrance comes in 125 mil or 75 mil uh, now is the time to get this fragrance even as a brand new release it's relatively inexpensive macy's has a sale right now if you use the code word friend that's f-r-i-e-n-d you can save quite a bit in fact the 125 mil goes for $80.75 USD and the 75 mil goes for $63.75 at Macy's. And I've linked that in the description. So if you want to click that link in the description, that'll take you straight to the Macy's page. You can order it for yourself and enjoy John Varvedo's XX Artisan Teal. Well guys, that's it for my first impression of this really solid summertime offering. If you've happened to already purchase Artisan Teal and you've got an opinion of the fragrance, let me know what that is in the comments below. Guys, thanks so much for checking out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your support of my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow.